Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Bruins Farm. I just got out here to the greenhouse at the farm market, checking on the strawberries. Definitely can see some new green growth coming out of all these now, or at least most of them. That guy looks like it never even stood a chance from day one, but we'll see in a couple more days. I'm just basically checking for water. These should have some fertilizer, but we don't have the dosatron set up yet. And I didn't want to do that today on a Sunday, so I'm just going to water them regularly. And then hopefully tomorrow or the next day, we can hit these with like a 20-10-20 fertilizer. You can see all the light pots there, meaning it's dry. And even these ones that look darker still aren't the heaviest. So I'm just going to water everything nice and even and then get back to the other greenhouses. So I want to get my water pressure just right so that I'm not blowing all the dirt out of the pot. But yeah, enough so where it doesn't take me forever to fill it up with water. So that's pretty good right there. The dirt in the pot is still kind of fresh and loose. It's not packed in there yet. So you gotta be careful you're not blowing all that fresh dirt back out of the pot. I just got back here to the farm. Mom and dad are at church, so I'm in charge of just keeping an eye on everything for water and temperature. A lot of you guys asked about the tag maker that my mom has been using to make all of our tags now for the greenhouse. I'm gonna be showing that probably later in this video, so stick around. If that's up at our house. We need, I think, Wi-Fi and the computer to do all that kind of stuff. So my mom, who is basically the one doing all that and making all of them, does everything up there. So like I said, I'll have her hopefully not only make some, but show you the process of how it works. And then there's also a couple of you guys who were asking how the auction went. Well, it didn't go very well. Like every other auction that I went to, I swear I'm not going to any more auctions. I literally hate them. But I did take a little clip of it, so here's that. It was absolutely miserable the entire day we were there. It was just about two hours away, so we had to wake up at like 5.30, get there for around eight, get registered. Then they always start with the smaller stuff, which is what we really didn't want. We were interested in all of the equipment or a couple of pieces of equipment. And so we get there, a lot of the stuff was inside that was smaller, which was nice, but all the equipment was outside. So we dressed for it, had our muck boots on and everything, but everything was in a rye field. And so it was extremely muddy. And honestly, it was like walking in a swamp. Your feet would stick fast. You almost would like come out of your boots. And that wasn't obviously the worst part. The worst part was that everything went for almost new price. Like one thing I was really interested in was a plastic lifter. It just goes through and it picks the plastic up out of the ground. And I used one of our neighbors, who's actually our cousin last year. Absolutely loved it and I wanted one of our own. That specific unit goes for around $3,085 from Rainflow, which we do a lot of business with. 
And so I'm thinking, okay, if it go, and it was in like almost perfectly new condition. So I thought, okay, if it goes anywhere from 2000 to 2500, I'll buy it. If it goes for more than that, well, I might as well just buy a brand new one. And so it ended up going for $2,800. And I was like, oh my goodness, what's the point? You know, I'm not gonna buy something, even if it's almost new, used when I could buy it brand new for only a couple hundred more dollars. And that's how basically everything went there. So good for the farmer who was selling. I mean, I'm sure he was tickled pink, but for somebody like me or all the other guys there who's trying to kind of get a deal, it just didn't really make a lot of sense, especially since then we had to either come back down or hire somebody to pick up that equipment and then haul it back to our farm because we only took our car down and we didn't want to be moving stuff in that swampy, muddy, just horrible conditions. I think these are the prettiest flower in the greenhouse right now. The leaves are nice and green. The flowers are very bright. They almost look fake. The lettuce is doing awesome. I don't know which ones are which, but there's romaine, butter crunch, uh, what others? Black Seed Simpson, Salad Bowl, New Red Fire, Red Sails. And they look like the germination's almost 100%, which it never is, but it looks about it. Mom and Dad just got here. We're not really fertilizing much today, but we did want to fertilize the Calabacopa in that section right there. So dad's running 20, 10, 20, 150 parts through the dosatron right now. And he's just checking to see when it actually hits the end of the hose. Obviously it's not there yet. And you can tell just by the blue tint to the water. Oh, there it is. It's blue now. We were gonna fertilize them by hand but then we just thought, you know what, we're going to do the whole batch just because we didn't really have anything else to water with 201020 in here at the moment. And so we hate to run it through all this line for nothing, or for one thing, but we just decided, well, it's going to be a lot easier. Here's a different petunia. It's coming out in blossom. This guy's a little bit different than that one yet. And these all have a ton of buds on. Probably I'd say in about a week they'll be coming out. These are really nice. Verbena, I would say, should be coming soon. We have been trimming it back though pretty hard just because it grows like crazy. And then we have them just getting all over each other. They start intertwining and then we can't pull them apart. Gets to be a nightmare. The new guineas are coming out. These always look fake. They're so perfect. I thought I seen one here in the baskets, but maybe not. So we got the greenhouses pretty much taken care of for right now. So I want to do a little bit of cleaning up around the farm. We have this old building. Kind of we just have old wooden baskets in it at this point. It's right across here from the blue shed where we wash everything. And we have all like these, I don't know, I guess you call them drain tiles or pipes or whatever you want to call them. And they're no good. Most of them are busted off. And it's just something for animals to live in, grows up with weeds and briars, and we're gonna clean it up a little bit. So we're gonna get all this stuff removed out of here, and then hopefully level it out and have some nice grass. There's a disc of some sort. That looks so heavy.
more coming out of it. Stacy, come on, watch out. Watch out. Okay, so we got all those pipe out of there. The only thing that's left is these like concrete slab things. And they're very heavy. Sammy can't obviously lift those. So I'm gonna get the skid loader in there. I'm not sure what I wanna do with them though yet. This big metal apparatus is, I think what my dad said is like a cow lifter or something of that sort. I don't know if you trimmed hooves or what you did with it, but obviously everything's froze up. I don't know if you could get it free again. But my point is, is I wanna get rid of it try and minimize the amount of weed whacking we have to do and how much briars and ugly stuff grows around here. If I can mow right around the building, well that saves me a lot of time, no weed whacking, all that kind of stuff. And so I'm not gonna work on that today, but at least it's cleaned up around now to where I can just get the skid loader in there and get it out of there. Then Sammy and I moved on to the irrigation pipe. Over the years, we always have people run over it. Obviously that's not good, but we can't obviously help it all the time. And so this is all of the bad ones. They're either twisted, bent, some of the collars are twisted. Whatever it is, we can't use them. This is our good stack. And then we have another irrigation wagon somewhere around here that we have another pile on. And this is what we had the pipe stacked up on. But as you can see, it's just rotted down and it's falling apart. And the good thing about that is that this is always just too small for me to get the mower through. And so now that we're getting this out of there and we're not going to put it back, we can get the mower around here, and again, it's less weed whacking and saves me time. So, that's gonna be the next project. I'm just not quite sure how it's gonna go though because all these pallets are very, very rotted with a lot of nails, and I don't wanna get them in our tires. So we're gonna try and do it pretty delicately. And Daisy's loving it because I'm sure there's a mouse in here somewhere. <laughs> Look at her, she's her whole entire head under it. Oh, jeez. Oh. We don't want to lose that. We're going to nail the You're right, but. All right, see if you can grab that corner there. Let me grab that side and I'll grab this side. I have this. I can't lift over there. <clears throat> yeah, see this, it just keeps just breaking. Grab by the middle. Now let's get up all these little chibbles. Honey. Chibbles. <laughs> we got the pallets out of here, took them down. Now we're gonna burn them in the, within the next couple days. This is just so much better now. We can get the mower through, and if we want to, we can park a vehicle here. Next step is gonna be taking care of this equipment over here. I don't know exactly what we're gonna do with it. I don't know if that wants to keep it, if we can sell it. We haven't used this stuff in, well, I can never remember using it. I think my dad did though when he was younger. These two pieces are good. This mower is obviously no good. The only thing is we have another mower that my dad was robbing parts off of this for that, but there's really not even much left <laughs> to rob off of. So I'd like to get that to scrap. And then we have a bunch of stuff over there that I'm hoping we can get rid of within the near future. You're gonna need cat food. To finish up the day, we're gonna do barn work. Sammy's feeding the cats. Where's the kitties, Dace? That's what I'm calling it a wrap for this video. As always, thank you guys for watching. You'd always remember it ain't much, but it's honest work.